My name is Jenga Kahero. I'm the County Executive Committee member in charge of water, environment and natural resources in Nikipia County. Konyak uh, Water Project is an interesting project. It's uh, actually a, a very good case for how a simple water project can transform people's lives. In November 2017, um, members of the county government and uh, citizens came up together uh, in Lonyek uh, to have uh, the, there was an amateur fundraise and uh, cultural evening and some of the things that people talked about was uh, the absolute lack of uh, reliable water uh, supply to the community to the town to the nearby anti-stock theft uh, police center and uh, immediately we started working uh, on, on that project, planning it, looking at what alternatives uh, there could be. And uh, to go back a bit, there was a, this was a scenario then, because community members would get water from a dam uh, quite uh, far away from the Lonyak Center, and often they were competing with wildlife on accessing the water. Uh, essentially that means the water is not uh, very good for drinking. The second alternative was uh, an old uh, windmill which incidentally uh, had been put there because it was not sustainable to use a diesel uh, engine to pump out water. Unfortunately for most of the time Lonyak has got very little wind so that meant uh, you had to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning put your jerry can uh, near the windmill and if you are lucky you would get 20 liters. Changamoto ya kwanza hili ambao tuliweza kupata wakati tulingia huku ni maji ilikuwa inatibindi kwamba watu wanaenda dam kutafuta maji ambao ilikuwa chafu na haiku inastahili wanandamu kuweza kutumia. Kwa tunangaika sana na maji unamuka saa tisa usiku mbili upate maji usiku wa muka hiyo masa hiyo usiku wa upate maji. Uh, kulikuwa na changamoto kwa sababu wenyeji walikuwa wanakuja usiku saa tisa wanapanga mitungi yao na hiyo nilikuwa ni kuhatarisha maisha yao kwa sababu ya ranch ambayo iko hapo inaitwa muge fisi sometimes walikuwa wanatoroka kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni kuhatarisha maisha awali mbeleni tulikuwa na shida ya maji na tuko tunapata maji ilikuwa tunaenda kuchota damu na tunapokuwa tukienda huko ilikuwa ni kupanga laini kisha elewa kwenda usiku saa kumi ya usiku utapata maji. Hizo za utume mtu kama muge na pikipiki ya mabaskili ndio tulikuwa tukipata maji. Na tulikuwa tukichotewa maji mtungi mmoja nilikuwa tukishununua na shilingi 30 na nilikuwa nikitumia ama tukitumia mimi mwenyewe binafsi nilikuwa natumia mitungi kama saba kwa siku ama mitungi kumi. Na nikilipa dhati bobu kwa sababu ilikuwa nikitumia kama shilingi 300 ama wakati ambao sasa niko na kazi ama kufua natumia kitu kama shilingi 700 ama 600 hiyo ndio ilikuwa nikilipa kwa siku kuna wamama walikuwa wanatoka sehemu za Kanjulu ambacho ni wajia wa sito wakikrosi kutoka Kanjulu kufika mahali hapa kutafuta maji mara saa zingine wanajifungulia njiani ama saa zingine wanakuja wakuwa wagonjwa wanawezekea njiani kwa kupitia ukosefu wa maji so uh, the county government of Lake Kipia team worked uh, with community leadership, with uh, neighbors, with uh, uh, the school in Lonyek, and, and we decided to put uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable energy um, in, in form of uh, solar to power the water uh, pumps. So we removed uh, the wind driven one which was not working for community and and uh, we did uh, build a, a new solar system there uh, comprising of uh, around 30 solar panels and and we did fit in a, a pump and and then we extended the water from one point to to about four water points which made access uh, of water to school to the primary school in Lonyak, to uh, two other community water points. And it has been a fantastic uh, turnaround.
for the community in ensuring that people can access water within 200 to 300 meters of their house uh, during the day because the, the place is very sunny. We are pumping water uh, to the tanks and, and people can continuously access. So that has led to a very interesting uh, change in the community in the sense that now kids don't have to carry water to school. Uh, they can access water uh, within 100 meters of uh, their school. The community members, uh, the hospital, the, the police now have water. The conflicts that used to be near the water point are, are, are gone because everybody has an assurance that they can get water at whatever time they need water. Jambo lingine hili ambao hii maji imeweza kusaidia kama vile unavyoona ni kwamba eh, ma kijito hiyo ambayo ilikuwa hapo hapo zamani ni 2 meters or 3 meters to the camp kwa hivyo ki kulikuwa na cases hapa na pale wenyeji wanapigana kwa sababu mmoja uh, amechukua maji ya mwenzake amechukua mtungi wa mwenzake eh, maana walikuwa wanapanga line eh, na pamoja na mitungi yao kwa hivyo hiyo cases zote zilikuwa zinaletwa hapo kwa kambi tunakuwa tuna solve cases zile ambazo saa hizi hazipo kwa sababu eh, maji iko tele katika hii maji eh, katika hii eneo ambao ni ya Lonyek and the second thing is uh, people have started doing small things in, in the rural center that tells you water can, can change. There are, there are small patches of uh, people farming greens, which translates ultimately to a better nutrition when people can grow their own greens. Uh, the hotels in that uh, small town have access to water 24-7, which leads to a better health outcome because sanitation or lack of sanitation really leads to health issues. Hata ukifikiria kuweka kazi yako ya hoteli unajua utapata maji lakini wakati hiyo mtambo ufikirie kwenda kupika kitu hoteli tunapiga hesabu hauna maji tutaanza wapi lakini saa hizi maji ni mingi tuko sawa kabisa hata saa hizi chips mko na shindo hakuna maji safi ambayo unaweza osha na viazi lakini saa hizi tunafurahi sana maji ni mingi uchoki mgongo kubeba na maji ni kuendea tu hapo unachota na unaendelea na business zako hakuna shida yote kwa maji jambo lingine ambalo maji imeweza kusaidia katika economy ama u economy ambayo ni ya hii eneo mbeleni walikuwa wanagaramika kuweza kununua mboga katika sehemu nyingi zingine wana kutoka Nyaururu kutoka na Nyuki mboga sinaletwa huko lakini siku hizi maji inawazaidia wenyeji wanaweza kukuza mboga yao hapo hapa na pale na jambo lingine ikaweza kusaidia kwamba zile pesa ambazo wangeweza kutumia katika kununua hizo mboga saa hizi wanaweza kutumia kwa njia nyingine tangu maji ilete tulipata nafasi ya kusoma mbele na tulikuwa tunapata maji ya tupata tu kwa tunapata nini nafasi ya kusoma kwa sababu tulikuwa tunakaa mtoni mpaka usiku hakuna wakati wa kusoma na vile hawa walituletea maji tulianza kupata yani nafasi ya kusoma yani hatukuwa tena na nini na stress ya kuchota maji na hapo kitambo tulikuwa na shida sana kukunywa hiyo maji juu ya nyama walikuwa wanatumia na sisi tena sasa vile wao wa government walituletea maji tulianza kupata maji safi na nashukuru hao government. Tauna kuna shida ya maji sasa hii. Sasa hii maji inakunywa hapa town na inakunywa pale juu na mpaka hata watu wa shule hapa wanaweza kunywa na mpaka hata hii watoto hapa wanaweza kunywa ya secondary wanaweza kunywa na kunywa mzuri na kila mtu anafua nguo yake vizuri na kila mtu anakunywa wakati wote. Hakuna mtu ambao amefunga. Inaenda tu suru. Sasa hizi Ninaona saizi hakuna shilingi hata 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 nduru moja ama hata shilingi moja ambayo inatumia saizi kwa sababu maji niko nazo maji tunashota siko karibu so in the last two years since uh, governor Nderito Muridi came to office uh, we've made some remarkable achievements and uh, delivering impacts in, in, in uh, the two things that are the mandate of the department of water environment and natural resources in so far as uh, water access is concerned, which is a, a right within, uh, provided in our constitution, we've been able to connect uh, more than 10,000 uh, homesteads with, with water. Na tukashukuru tukasema, juu hii maji tumeletewa, tumasema asani sana kwa hile mkubwa ambao amelete hii maji hapa, hama tusaidia sana. Na mini kipenda kitu moja. Nikasema Mr. Murezi, mkubwa wangu, Eh, 
akikuja hapa hivi atakuja kukuta watu hapa ya hii town ya Lonye wanakunywa maji kileni wamefurahia mambo ya morezi amesema morezi ndio mkubwa wetu nashukuru sana gavana wetu morezi kwa kutuweka maji hapa Lonye tumeshukuru sana pia kwa ile kiongozi ambao wako zaidi governor MZA wote tunapongeza tunarudisha shukrani kwa sababu Isipo kwa juhudi yao hatungeweza kupata maji kama hiyo. Asante. Na Mungu amani aweze awabariki.